I'm Vikramaditya here. Welcome to JH Soft Tech. In this session, I'm going to cover latest SAP MM interview questions and their respective answers. So in this interview question and answers are useful for you for attending the internal internal uh, movement of uh, projects as well as for the for the job change as well. So this will be specific to all all the SAP MM consultants starting from the freshers to you know 10 to 15 years of experience as well because these are the basics that might be touched maybe for the experienced guys uh, there will be a different approach but these basics are something which we have to refresh uh, 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 regularly so let's start with the basics of sap mm interview question and answers use of sap material management module sap materials management is a part of the logistics area and helps to manage the procurement activity of an organization from procurement it supports all aspects of material management uh, for example like the planning controlling etc it is the backbone of the logistics area which incorporates modules like sales and distribution production planning plane plant maintenance project systems warehouse management which are extremely obsessed on the material management module so even if you have a question like what exactly logistics has what are the different modules that we have in logistics even for that you can you can use this answer like uh, we have sales and distribution production planning plant maintenance project systems warehouse management as a part of the logistics system is what you can just uh, other than other than material management of course what are the advantages of uh, material management so the answer would be multi location inventory that's the maintenance of multi location inventory inventory replenishment product life cycle management material valuation the, the lot and serial traceability bin management scheduling and resourcing what is purchase order purchase order is the formal and final confirmation of the requirements which is sent to vendor to supply materials or services purchase order will include important information like name of the material with its corresponding plant details of purchasing organization with its company code name of the vendor and date for delivery of material these are all the uh, information that we have in the purchase order we imbibe them into the purchase order a purchase or purchase requisition is an internal document or an external document so the interviewer will ask you is it an interview in internal document or an external document so purchase requisition is always an internal document it is the phase in which purchasing document is informed about the requirement of uh, uh, items or services required for business purpose what are the different types of business and basic procurement so in the basic procurement there are two types of basic procurement procurement for stock versus consumption and procurement external versus internal procurement so we have procurement for stock and and, and consumption and external external and internal procurement what is the difference between procurement for stock and uh, consumption procurement of stock a stock material is a material that is kept in the stock these materials are kept in stock once received from the vendor the stock of this material keeps on increasing or decreasing based on the amount of quantity received or issued to order a material for stock the material must have a material master record within the system so procurement for direct consumption when procurement is for direct consumption it will it, it will be consumed as soon as it received the user should specify the consumption purpose to order a material for consumption the material may have a master record within the system and what is external procurement external procurement it is the process of procuring goods or services from external vendors there are 
three basic forms of external procurement generally supported by purchasing component of the IT system. One time orders are generally used for materials and services that are ordered regularly. Long term contracts with the subsequent issues of release orders for materials that are being ordered regularly and in large quantities, we can negotiate deal with the vendor that someone who sells to us or pricing or conditions or record then in a contract. In a contract, you also specify the validity date. Now in long term, again, we have one more long term scheduling agreements and delivery schedules. If a material is ordered on, a, on an everyday basis and it is to be ordered according to an exact time schedule, then you set up a scheduling agreement. What is pro internal procurement? Internal procurement, large corporate organizations may own multiple separate businesses or companies. Internal procurement is a process of getting material and services from among identical company. So each of these companies maintains a complete bookkeeping system with separate balance, profit and loss statements so that when trade occurs between them, it will be recorded. What is special procurement? Special procurement, special stocks are stocks that are managed differently as these stocks did not belong to company and these are being kept at some particular location. What is consignment stock? Consignment stocks, material that is available at our premise, store premises, however, is it still belongs to the vendor or uh, owner of the material. If you utilize the material from consignment stocks, then you have to pay to the vendor. That's called consignment stock. What are the common assignment uh, types in SAP MM materials? So the uh, plant to company code, purchasing organization to company code, purchasing organization to plant, standard purchasing organization to the plant. What are the different info records, info record types? Standard info records, consignment info record, subcontracting info record and pipeline info records. How do you flag a material for deletion? A deletion flag can be set at a client level, plant level or storage level, location level. Transaction code for this uh, for deletion is MM06 and is used to mark a material for deletion. What is the use of purchase info record? Purchasing info record stores information on a material and vendor supplying that material. For example, vendors supplying price, vendors current price of particular material is stored in the info record. Where do you maintain purchase info record in SAP MM? Purchase info record can be maintained at a plant level or at the purchasing organization level. Expense steps in procurement life cycle. So in the procurement life cycle, we have requirement and information gathering. Procurement process starts with the gathering information about product and its quantity. Then for required products and services, it is necessary to look for suppliers who can satisfy the requirements. Supplier contract. After gathering, after gathering requirements, one will also for the suppliers who can fulfill the requirements so they'll be looking for suppliers who can fulfill the requirements based on that quotation request for or information request can be made to suppliers or direct contact can be made with them background review once the supplier is known product service quality is checked and any necessities for services such as installation warranty and its maintenance are investigated some samples of product can be obtained for quality examination. Negotiation. Some negotiations with suppliers is made regarding price, availability and delivery schedule of the product services. After this, a contract is signed that is a binding legal document between supplier and the ordering party. A contract will include all necessary information like price and quantity of the materials delivery date etc order fulfillment so order material ordering ordered material will be shipped delivered to the ordering party 
and supplier is paid accordingly. Training and installation of products or services may also be included in this order fulfillment. Then we have the consumption, maintenance and disposal. As the product service is consumed, the performance of the products or services is evaluated and any follow-up services support if required is analyzed. What do you understand by goods received in SAP system? After processing of purchase ordered by vendor, material is delivered to ordering party and this process is called as goods received. So goods received is the purchase is a phase in which the material is received by the ordering party and the condition and quality are verified. Once material is verified against quality, then goods received is posted. How do you post goods receipts? Uh, in general, we normally go directly for the transaction code MIGO or if at all, if you got, would like to navigate, then you have uh, to create the goods receipt. We can go to logistics, material management from the main screen and inventory management. And then we have the goods movement and goods, mo goods movement. In that goods movement, again, we'll have the goods movement. So here we have what are the different procurement types that you can create purchase requisition for. So purchase requisition can be created for the following procurement types. Standard, getting finished materials from vendor. Subcontracting, providing raw materials to vendor and getting finished material. Consignment, procuring material that is kept in company's premises and paying to vendor for that. Stock transfer, getting materials from within the organization. External service, getting service like maintenance from third party vendor. How can you create a purchase order from purchase requisition? So purchase order from purchase requisition can be created by following uh, below steps. We can go to ME21 transaction and from there we can uh, create a purchase order from purchase requisition. Maybe I'll include the steps uh, in the next video. What is a request for quotation? Request for quotation form of invitation that is sent to vendors to submit quotation indicating pricing and the terms and conditions. Request for quotation contains details about goods or services, quantity, date of delivery and date of bid on which it is submitted. What is the use of document type in SAP system? In SAP system, you can document type. You can use the document type to define different methods or procedures for a transaction. What is a free item in SAP system? The price will be marked zero for free item. We can pick the item as free item while creating a PO in the system. Why do you use material type? Material type in SAP system is used to group various materials based on some common properties. What is material status? It is two digit code and is used to determine the material usability. What are the different stock types in SAP system? Restricted stock, unrestricted stock, quality inspection stock, block stock, and goods receipt block stock. What do you understand by goods received block stock? This is conditionally accepted stock and not the unrestricted stock. What are the different stock transfer types in SAP system? Intercompany stock, intra company stock, and intra plant stocks, stock transfer. So, what is intra plant stock transfer type in SAP MM? Storage location to storage location is called intra company intra plant stock transfer what is an outline agreement outline agreement is a long-term purchasing agreement with vendor containing terms and conditions regarding the material that is supplied by the vendor on uh, outline agreement are valid up to certain period of time and cover a certain predefined quantity or value what do we understand from procurement process in SAP MM? Every organization acquires materials or services 
to complete its business needs the process of buying materials and obtaining services from vendors or dealers is procurement it subscribe yet please do subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash jadesoftech and if at all if you'd like to contact us you can contact us at training at jadesoftech.com for training purpose and if at all if you're looking for jobs you can contact us at jobs at jadesoftech.com thank you have a great day